Hello and welcome back to Queen's Wish 2 and this time we will go north to Hyletha claim. Uh, we did the Dagon claim before and um, the Kranas claim. Alright, so um, I'm not sure regarding the uh, income here, resources produced and the report I got uh, after the day. That does not seem to reflect what I'm actually getting and what I got. I still got zero Quicksilver. And uh, my guess is that there are like different values because this is also far too much with the resources produced. Maybe this is either meaning something completely different. Um, but it's also showing on the daily um, daily summary. Either way, I think that this value is incorrect. I reported it to the developer. I mean, this is the release version, but the game is still not released at the point um, when I'm recording that. So maybe that is fixed for the actual release, which I think was on the 24th. Let me quickly check that. Yeah, August 24th is a release of Queen's Wish 2. And with that, yeah, let's go to High Letha. Mm -hmm. So just heading north and hopefully we will get enough XP for solving that quest to also get a level up. And uh, yeah, let's fight some ghosts. You see flickering lights. They hover over the marshy ground 50 feet away. Then they lift off into the mist. A lesser explorer might be lured into quicksand by such a phenomenon. You know better. Let's go. <laughs> there's also snakes and there seems to be something interesting. There's a huge nest of sticks and trash out here in the depths of the swamp. Gnawed bones are everywhere. There are tracks in the muck, but they are old and indistinct. You poke around a bit, but you find nothing of interest. Interesting. Maybe we will send back um, at a later point. <clears throat> Misty swamp. I mean, we can... Yeah, The mist grows icy cold. Frost crunches under your feet. A shade floats through the mist towards you. As you shiver, it drifts to a halt in front of you, watching you, judging you. You are immediately reminded of the shade that spoke to you back in the lighthouse. The Rokai is a te land tormented by ghosts, often literally. After a ten silent pause, the shade turns and floats off into the north. It is soon lost in the fog. Okay, so... Um, shade is not attacking. Let's go to the to the snakes. You hear whispering. It comes from all around you and sends shivers up and down your spine, making you want to flee into the march in terror. But you keep control. The feeling fades. Okay, that was not the snakes. Come back. Mm -hmm. Okay, that should be easy. We will just stay away as far as possible. Mm-hmm. They don't have a lot of hit points, so... Yeah. I mean, these are... quite a few. I mean, this should be fine, but one more step, hopefully, is also fine. No. Unfortunately, I can't hit that one again if I move further back, but I will do so. Mm -hmm. That's probably too far. Let's go there. And there. All right. 
Now the map is at its end, but we can still move back. Let's kill that one then. Mm, not ideal, but... Let's see if that works. Yes, it does. I mean, worst case is that we cannot shoot with one character, I guess. Yeah, like this. But it's fine. This one still needs to come, need two turns to be able to attack, so it's all fine. All right. But we didn't get anything from that, so... Okay. Is that, there's a path to the west. Hmm. I mean, we need to go there, so let's ignore this for now and meet the ghost. Um, okay, it's the same as before. Claim of High Letha. Okay. There's a large workshop tucked back in this valley. There are two long sheds in the front and a huge stone building is up against the cliff face behind them. You recognize the acrid smell in the air, a thick miasma that makes your eyes and nostrils burn. Quicksilver is made here. It is a precious substance used in all forms of alchemy. The workshop is not active though. Something is wrong. The air is icy cold and you hear constant whispering. Just at the edge of perception. Seems like a haunting. Hardly the first you have seen. Smoke rises from the chimney as the shed to the right. Uh, of the shed to the right. As at least someone is here alive. Uh, okay, you try to open the door but it's bad from the inside. Okay. And there's supposed to be someone. You round the corner and see a bunch of workers. They are not people of the gentle coast. They are le leaner and hungrier and the expressions on their faces are cold. They sit at the table facing each other quietly sipping tea. Their thick leather clothes are too warm for this climate. The only one of them who reacts to your presence is the man at the end of the table. And that reaction is only a brief nod. Hello, Haven. Mm, Theomi, Tihomir, sounds like a dwarf. Looks like a dwarf. Of the workers in this hall, only one of them is willing to look at you. This young man stands at the head of the table and watches you with, his, with distaste. I am Theomir, he says. This workshop is a legitimate claim of the High Letha. We are not open for business, Haven. We are challenged. You look at the workers. They aren't angry or aloof. They are scared. Tell me about this workshop. He is relentlessly grim as he speaks. The Hylitha produces precious quicksilver. We trade it for the goods we can't produce ourselves. We can make very little on our icy mountains. Quicksi only quicksilver and judgment. You said this is a legitimate claim? The general coast is often raided. They deserve it because they are so soft. However, we are not a raid. We paid well for this land and we can use it as ours. The soil is high letha. How do you create quicksilver? The cinnabar is mined from our high peaks. Then we carry it down the mountain to the gentle coast to heat it so that the quicksilver can emerge. Why do you look cook the cinnabar down here? The process creates noxious fumes and substances which must be dumped. We would rather dump them in the gentle coast than in our own lands. No, oh, makes sense. I have another question. Thumia stands at the head of the table. What else do you need, Haven? You notice that the workers are starting to calm down. Some of them even steal quick looks at you. They must be recovering from the presence of the shades. But tell me about this workshop. Was that what I... Okay, that's what I already asked, okay. What is the Hylitha? 
We are the highest oldest province. We live in the high icy peaks of the Rokai. Many find us cold and harsh. To outsiders we are. I'd like to know more about the High Letha. You are a prince, come to judge the Rokai. You will come to our land soon enough. Then you will learn all that you need to. Stern, humorless and incapable of a straight answer. Your mother would like Tiumir. I have another question. You seem to be having problems. We are. Our workshops are full of hostile spirits. They came out of the walls, screeching and driving us out. We can't work like this. We are taking steps to reclaim our workshop, but it is difficult. Where did these shades come from? They are the ghosts of the dead. What dead? What do they want? Were they, were they killed here somewhere else? We don't know. Only Mist Talker can get sense out of them. Uh, how is the problem being dealt, dealt with? When the shades emerged and hold at us, we sent for Mist Talker Vanessa right away. It is the correct way. When the ghosts slip out of the icy peaks, they must be reined in. Mist Talker? The High Letha is the land of ghosts. Ghosts are hard to see and even harder to talk to. The Mist Talkers of the High Letha drink Quicksilver potions to gain sharper perception. Then they can find out what the ghosts want to say. And how is Mist Talker Vanessa doing? Vanessa? For the first time, to me seems uncertain. Well, she must be doing well. She came highly recommended. However, she has been in the workshop for a long time. I have another question. Perhaps I can help you. Perhaps you can use brutality. That is what Haven does in the row. If you can help us, we will pay. Hmm. Okay, but we need to talk to this Vanessa or Vanessa or whatever. Uh, is this? I doubt that the skeletons are friendly. Okay, let's explore this um, area first. So this was closed. Maybe we can... No. Mm, the door is icy cold. It hurts to touch it. You give it a co good show, of, uh, but the door refuses to budge. Okay, apparently there's... Nothing we can do. A few copper bits. This patch of river is where the toxic byproducts of quicksilver production are dumped. They are harsh and bitter. And the plants are dead. Oh, that's very convenient. Um, yeah. So what do we have here? Nothing. Okay. So we need to go downstairs and find the fight these skeletons. And probably this Vanessa is somewhere underground, I guess. Alright, so skeletons. No text or anything. Just skeletons evaded. Alright. They probably, possibly can also cleave. Um, let's move a bit to the side. And let's use the stunning shot over here. Yeah. I mean... So, won't be able to attack anymore. Um, slowed. They don't have a lot of HP. And they don't do a lot of damage. Let's use one of these. Okay, that was not great though. That. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're not too impressive, I have to say. Mm hmm. 
Klang. Okay, I need to use juice for healing. And we will automatically regenerate that. Mm -hmm. And there are the next ones. Okay. By the way, uh, music is by Kevin McLeod in Competech. Alright. It's always a bit misleading regarding the... Um, how far the enemy is away if we have diagonals because that's also just one point to move yeah I will stay back all right Nah, that's not working. Okay. We can't really go back further, I guess. I will try. Yeah. I will try to stay there. Not sure what they are doing. Weird, okay. I don't really want to run after that one, okay. Not super impressive. Okay, there's a way up, probably into one of these buildings. You are surprised to find a lone woman in this cave. A lone, still alive woman. She is looking to the north. When you come into view, she waves you into the cave. She is wearing robes and holds a staff. Anywhere else, you would think she was a wizard, but here in the row, who knows? Miss Talker Vanisa. There's a young woman in this cave, very young. Her robes are threadbare, hand me downs kinched, kinched in with broad leather belt. A stoppered gourd hangs from her belt. She looks at you, well, she looks in your general direction. Hello, Haven, I'm Miss Talker Vanisa. I have been sent here to practice my trade. You may speak with me. Well, too generous. What is it? What is a Miss Talker? Her voice is soft and distant. It seems like she sometimes forgets that you are here. We talk to the ghosts of our dead. We hear the wi wisdom. We accept their approval. We calm them down when they grow violent. How do you talk to the shades? She takes the gourd from her belt and sips from it. We drink potions of quicksilver. They help detach us from this world so that we can see the other one more clearly. This has many rewards. I have another question. Um, why is there an outbreak of shades here? In this mine, I'm not sure yet. Shades should not be tormenting the lowlanders. I was sent to calm them. Why does Rukai have so many ghosts? All lands have ghosts. They are not listened to and they fade forever. We do not let our dead go to waste. Our most honored are buried in the peaks of the High Letha so that their ghosts are bound to us. Why are they so important to you? The Rokai is always conquered by outsiders. We accept the guidance of our dead because nobody else will help us. Another question. Tell me about the High Letha. Our province is the icy peaks of Rukai. We bring Quicksilver and Judgment. We guide our people in dealing with change and with outsiders. And what do you think of Haven? 
Our Raza is our most honored one. The only one who can bring final judgment. You should talk to Raza Suharum. Me? I only hunt ghosts? I have another question. What are you going to do with the shades here? I will hear what they have to say. Once I have listened, I will ha make them return to their rest. Angry shades are a problem. Why is it a problem? So far they have only skate scared the workers here. If they are not pleased soon enough, they will do harm. We value them, but when they are disobedient, they must be calmed. How do you deal with disobedient shade? I speak with them. If that does not work, I use force to disperse them. Unfortunately, the shades here are powerful and numerous. More than I expected. So what is your plan? I will follow you. When the shades attack, I will help fight them. You are here for gain, aren't you? We can both profit. For example, now. I feel the shades coming. I feel the anger. Be ready. And then several insubstantial angry spirits flow out of the wall. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright. Mm-hmm. Well then. Do some some talking there. Um I'm not sure if they can cleave. Oh, that was not very successful. What's their mana resist, critical chance, physical evasion 30%. Alright, alright. Oh, summoned a skeleton. Interesting. Block damage. Vulnerable. The hit chance seems to be rather low, though. Okay. Let's go there. Enemy slows me. Yes, but... Bams. Bams. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Okay, ah, uh, she's not too bad. Oh, that was some damage. She's definitely good help, so let's heal. I'm not sure if she needs healing, but I will just heal. I will regain some of the stuff anyways. And now she's following me. Oh, that's cool, and I think that's also a first. I don't remember that this ever happened in the Spiderweb game. Okay. Do they have any frost resistance? I don't think frost resistance exists. Magical revasion, 10%. Mm, okay, they're too far away. Icy shade. I will just stay in the back for now. Okay. And so much for staying in the back. The skeletons are probably... At least there, <laughs> there is no um, friendly fire with um, friendly NPCs. That would be a problem. Yeah, okay, this is doing damage. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh. Uh, evade, evade, evade. That was a weird move. Probably just drew, drew aggro. Woof. So far, easy peasy. Okay. 
There isn't even anything. I mean, I can heal up that hit point. Okay. Mm hmm. Whoop. Blots. And there are some other stairs. Silver, silver. Okay, and what is there? There was another way, path with rats. Now our companion is not companioning us anymore. I hope that we will get her back then. Oh, there's a vapor rat, which sounds dangerous. So we should probably try to exterminate that rat very quickly. Nah. Oops, wrong one. To use that. I need to kill the vapor rats. Yes. Okay. Healing. Ah, oh, no, not by her. He needs to heal. And again. Mm -hmm. Now I will go back first and see if she will join me again. Um, what are you going to do with the shades here? I will hear what that was the problem or the mm -hmm. ah, okay, so th she is joining me again if I get down again. Okay. So um let's try Yeah, okay. This is now open. Per scroll of life. Return life. Uh-huh. Follow me. No enemies here yet. You reach the factory floor of the Quicksilver Workshop. There are multiple furnaces, all cold. Used to extract the pre precious silvery Quicksilver from one or carrot here. There's a figure waiting for you at the far end of the hall. A ghost, not surprising. It stares at you and waits for you to approach. Let's approach then. When Miss Taka Vanessa gets close to the ghost, it turns to face her. It solidifies into the form of a row warrior. Long dead, it ignores you. Vanessa says, Ghost, this is not your land and not your place. You must return to the earth until you are called forth. I'm Kodano, Kodano, Prince of Haven. Listen. The ghost says, I was Karl. I say Haven has returned. It walks free. Karl died to fight Haven. We all died in the great uprising. You never avenged us. You failed us. So we must act. Perhaps I can negotiate with you. The ghost glares at you. The room grows icy cold. The chill sinks into your bones. Vanessa says, that didn't help. Vanessa says, 
This is a time of change. Haven will be made to answer for its deeds. However, you will not be involved. You must rest. This is not your place or mine. The Shed says, we have been trapped in this land of cowards and weaklings for a hundred years, watching our homeland rot. And you want us to rest? Return to the earth? No, we will rise at last. We don't need to fight. The Shade isn't listening anymore. Vanessa says, actually, I do think we do. Uh, and then the ghosts rise up through the earth all around you. When they appear, a faint shield appears around Karl. Okay, what happens if we use the other dialogue option? Listen, listen more. Um, Vanessa says, this is the time for change. Heaven will be made to answer the seas. We don't need to fight. The Shade isn't listening anymore. Uh-huh. Okay, at least we didn't get a debuff this time. And she did, the ghost didn't get a buff. Okay. Interesting, but in this case there's not a whole lot um, regarding like tactical positioning or something. Um, the only option we have is to attack from a different side. So we need to see either way. Yeah, like the power of these attacks so that's not good um here mm. Oof. yeah this is not good at all We kind of need to split a bit so that there are different per people around that ghost in different directions. Otherwise, they will all die with the same AoE, which would be pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they seem to come... Ah, okay. Prepare for battle. You draw your weapon, so does Vanessa. The Shade throws its arm wide and goes rise up through the earth all around you. When they appear, a faint shield appears around you. Oh no, it's also a faint shield. Okay, so she is basically tanking all of them. And um, I'm not sure how far the healer can do anything. Can um, uh, the the range of the healer is with the healing spells. So I mean, I won't be able to walk away. I could. Oops, that was wrong. I could teleport myself away to... Let's say here. Yeah. Skelet didn't... Okay, so this was nice. Only one um, character got some damage. So what can she do with this ice spell? I will probably kill um, do friendly fire with that, which is not good. So this one should work. All right. Okay. Um, let's move around. Weakness. Yeah. Let's move further around, all right. And uh, now I, she needs to attack, otherwise she can't anymore. And he's going to stay there. Is there any stun resist only 40%? Okay, let's try that then. Nice. Oh, critical. Oh, that's far more damage than I thought.
Um, but I don't see how she's going to survive that now. Or she, yeah. That's a problem. So maybe we try from like this. Maybe we just start with shooting. That was nice. Okay. Mm. Slow. For now, we don't need to heal yet. Vulnerable. I mean, she needs to use that. We are unable. Uh, I mean, maybe we hit the skeleton and so be it, but. Yes, we do. Okay, move forward. And there's probably a stun resist, stun resist 80%, yeah. So let's use this one. Plung. Mm -hmm. But at least there's no critical hits at the moment. Um, I should try to get past with that character so I can do some better attacks with the AoE. All right. Mm-hmm. So we can hit. We need to, to save her. Uh, um, is this chance down? Yes, it is. So let's try and stun again. Actually, I will go to that field so that he is basically any attack on him with AoEs will not hit any other. Oh, 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 that's not good. Okay. Aoi! Nice. They are too fast. Too many attacks coming in. Maybe... Yeah, if I move a little bit crazy like I did now, I can try and get them out. Now the problem is that she already, or the ghost uh, already um, went into my direction and that didn't work. Okay, let's try that again. And let's try and keep very far down here. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, cool. Um, three, four. Ah, crap.
Okay. Now the issue is that they are also standing very badly. I mean, that was a lot of damage, but... I'm not so sure how useful that was. Um, we need to heal her. Actually, can do another here. Nice. Walk and... Ah, now we can stun her, right? Yeah. So we... Unfortunately... Ah, we can use that one. It was not great, but I mean, I could, could have sh tried to shoot one of these ghosts, but let's try and will them to death. 18, 8. They are all still full, and he's dead. Yeah. I need to to kind of split the damage more, but I don't know exactly how I would do that. So now she is off again, and now th this entry was terrible, so... Okay. We got a fine start, I guess. Oh, this was nice. Okay, um in that case, let's try and nah, evade. We need to try that again. Terrible. Now one AOE and we are all pretty much dead. Mm. No, this was fine, I guess. Mm-hmm. At least there are a few in range. Yeah, nice. Okay. We also got the skeleton fighting for us. Uh -huh. Not anymore. Missed turn. All right. She needs to move away. Healing here. Yeah, it would be nice if we had something which was removing these um, vulnerable debuffs. I think it's not great if they are stacked that high. Okay, um, let's see if we can can do anything here without killing our own. Yes, like this. This goes in between and hits all the ghosts in theory. Okay, um, that didn't go well, but... Okay. Ghost of Karl is still at stun 80%, so we need to use... to kill someone, not spread out the damage. Okay. Nice. All right. Mm-hmm. So we've got... Yeah, let's use that. Nice. 
And now it's the stun resist is back to 40. It was a cleave, but unfortunately. Switch weapon, stunning shot. Okay, that was not great. I think we can, in theory, we can uh, like uh, resurrect them, but um, I don't want to have anyone dying. We don't need to fight. Okay. Now yeah, let's try that again. Mm hmm. Oh, okay, only one. I mean, the, if we had a good option to clump them together and so that we could use the AOEs on as many as possible, that would help a lot. Like, this is probably not that bad. Now they are all on this left side, so... I mean, there's still just two we can hit with that attack. But that might be a decent start. Vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's heal. Yeah, the positioning here is nice. But... Um, on the left side it's not so yeah we need to yeah she will get a lot of damage now but i mean she can whirl around so maybe that's compensating a bit oh, that didn't work ah all right so we can hit four of them Probably not more. Yeah. Let's hit these four then. Or can I use... Oh, just four. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now the positioning is actually quite good now. So uh, let's hope for the best. Let's whirl a bit. And heal a bit. Um, yeah. Evade it. Okay. So we can use... Oh, that's pretty good. We will either hit our own character or the NPC. I choose to hit the NPC and to do that anyways, because that's our most powerful attack. So we still haven't managed to stun the enemy, so I still have a good chance of, in theory, doing that, which this was not. Okay, we need to whirl around here because like three of them will die. Possibly, which didn't work, but in theory. Nice. All right. No. Hmm. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, different setup this time. And maybe if we are a little bit more lucky with the stuns, that can actually work. Like, this is terrible. Mm. Okay, this is the mage. It's pretty good. So we can hit three. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's also try and do... Oh, I switched to the wrong weapon. I want to use the bow. Why is that never working? Alright. Um, maybe I should just not try that. Uh, healing is probably not necessary yet. Oh, okay. It's never working, so I already lost quite a bit of damage by not hitting. Uh, it was good, it was the right direction. <laughs> yep, quite a lot of goes, but they are positioned fine now. Again, we either hit our own character or... I mean, we can do something like this, but then we only hit two. I will try this. Oh, this is actually going through. Okay. Nice. Okay. Mm hmm. I'm still afraid of these um, AoEs because, in theory, there could be like four of my characters being hit with just one AoE. Ah, nice, okay, can try use again. Um, yeah. Shield fades, all right. I can use a stunning shot, but I think the AoE is more important. Ah, uh, if this would hit anything. Alright. So I can, again, try to get in between. Like this. We will hit, hit two. <sighs> yeah, that was fine. The hit points here are no, still more than half, so let's use the AoE, oh, nice. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we need to drink the potion. And in this case, we can use the AoE again. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> but I did get the weakness by the skeleton. Hmm. Um so the normal attack is doing less damage than this one. I could also try and just heal now. Yeah, let's try that. Active. Um, she's still at 30. 
And let's try the stun. Oh, that worked. Okay, nice. And AoE. We definitely need to heal her now. And she also doesn't he have any... Um, potion. Nice. Okay, now we need to try and split a bit. Um, so she, uh, the ghost is still stunned. Uh, yeah, still stunned. So, mm, yeah, and two of my guys were hit. Stun resist, so we can try to stun again. Uh, the stun didn't work, but at least. Um, there was some damage, so we can. No, I need to to keep healing, I guess. Yeah. And here we need to keep stunning, if possible. Let's go there. That wasn't bad. But all gone. Mm. Um, hmm. Out of juice. So he is. I mean, he can attack the ghost. Nice, 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 nice. Critical. Oh, nice. The ghost of Karl is cleaved in two by a final blow, letting out a furious hiss. It sinks down through the stone, leaving only a tracing of frost behind. The workshop has been freed from its possession. Miss Stalker Vanessa looks around the workshop for a while, looking for other signs of haunting. Finally satisfied, she says, it is done. The place is clean now, but there are crimes that must be answered for. All right, well, we are also clean now of, of mana and hit points. Okay, the shades have been defeated. Um, yes, they have be returned to the earth. Haven killed them in the great uprising. They sensed you were near and they came out for revenge. It should not be allowed. Their time is past. What now? Now the workers can return to work. Perhaps Tiomir will reward you. I will report to the High Letha. This is a dangerous situation. Much is out of balance. Then, without a word of thanks or farewell, she turns and leaves the hall. Manners and social graces are apparently not huge in the High Letha. Alright, but the skeleton is still with us. And there's the treasure chest. Silver coins. Band of warmth. Maximum energy. Let's use that for our priest. And this is arcane gear. I'm not sure if this 12 to 15. And also weakness for chance, but I think it's... Ah, no, this is... Uh, is this a replacement for dagger or what? Um Okay. It's replacing the oak ones. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so I mean we should still take that with us, but Mm-hmm. On the other hand it makes sense to use a bow, right? Because the bow's doing more damage. I mean this has a weakness, but you get some coins, all right. Mm hmm. Hello. 
I have purged your workshop of shades. Yes, we felt the change. We are grateful. We of the High Lisa are cold, but we are not selfish or thoughtless. Perhaps I could get a reward. Do me not. This is fair. However, I am an alchemist, not a trader. Our negotiations are done by Ayaya in Lascara. Talk to Ayaya. Alright, we'll do so. Ayaya. Mm-hmm. Gentle coasts. I mean, we gained some stuff back, so what we could do... Ah, we actually need to go back to the city in order to use healing spells. Um... Yeah, but... Uh, it's not too bad, actually. So, we can definitely survive a decent random encounter. So, I would say we go to the west and over that bridge and then down to Ascara and explore some stuff on our way. But that's it for today, so next time we will hand in the quest and hopefully get these 150 experience points for the next level up. And with that, thank you for watching. Next episodes, um, well, every couple of days. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss anything. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.